Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just wanna do a little chit chat video with you guys today. I had recently picked up a little Dior SLG. I had this vision for it. I had so much hope and I wanted to do a lot with it, but I'm still like on the fence. I really wanted just to kind of share my thoughts on this, get your opinion and let me know if you have this, what you guys think. Do you guys still use it, love it, um, all of that good stuff. First off, thank you for stopping by, taking time off your day to click on this video. Grab your coffee, grab your tea. Let's just have a moment here when we talk about this little SLG. If this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. I make videos on luxury, lifestyle, fashion, anything that's related. I love all of the above and I love, especially lately, trying to figure out what's the most bang for my buck. So we all know the prices on luxury goods just in general are skyrocketing. So a lot of times I've realized I could actually save a little by just getting a little creative with purchasing, you know, smaller leather goods or SLGs, pouches, things like that, and then turning them into crossbodies. And again, this is obviously not a new invention. So many of you guys do it already. I've done it to my toiletry 26. I know if you're watching this, I actually loved when you showcase yours. So it really inspired me to pick up this little piece. So here she is. This is Dior Quake in the oblique print and the textile fabric print line with I think, I believe this is a uh, calfskin leather. Here she is up close, super gorgeous. It has a nice D clasp at the end. You'll see here. And this is very substantial, very heavy, and definitely has a lot of, it feels very luxe. So you're definitely getting quality when it comes to this. And it does this. You can clasp this onto any bag. I know a lot of people put this on their Dior tote bag. It just kind of has a moment. This, I believe, is meant for a pouch. You're supposed to actually hold the clasp like this and just use this as a little clutch moment. Now, again, you can clasp it to anything and check out the zipper and the clasp. It has a little CD here and it is just so gorgeous. Here's the inside. It says, Christian Dior inside, made in Italy. And I love how there's an inside pocket to this. And there's a D ring right here, as well as right here. So just to know, I'm not like a clutch person. I think the idea of it is nice, but I prefer anything with a crossbody. So A, just for convenience. And two, I just feel like I'll lose it if I don't have it that way. Um, but I wanted something in the oblique so bad, but I just didn't want to pay the Dior prices, I guess. Um, I've been really loving Dior items. I just think their stuff is like so classic, kind of underrated and not like in your face, but kind of in your face. I that even makes sense. I just like absolutely love Dior items. And I wanted something in oblique so bad, like, ugh. I love the Dior saddle. I thought about getting like an oblique print there, but I don't really feel like that's needed because I have the leather version. Um, and you know, there's other, obviously there's a lot of other ones. There's like pouches, wall and on chains. These are all so cute, but they just don't fit anything. And for like, like this one, I actually consider this one. This is the Dior clutch on chain or pouch on chain. But this one I think retails in, it's like 2000 plus. I feel like it's so thin and uh, like this one has some dimension to it. It's the width actually makes sense, but that one is like paper thin like this. So literally can only put in flat things like maybe, maybe a phone card wallet and not probably not even like a lipstick cause it'll bulge out. So just not functional. And like I've mentioned to you guys, if you guys chat with me on Instagram or see my other videos, I am just over a fussy bag. I really am. As much as as beautiful as they are, and I don't regret getting this. We all know my Dior saddle. Love her to pieces, but she is very fussy. So I will definitely still use this bag because it's stunning and I love it, but it is fussy. So I just kind of over fussy bags and I felt like this one isn't because it's just a camera bag basically. So here's the size comparison. Here's the Dior saddle. Here is 
the here is the quake so if you're asking what fits more the dior saddle still fits more than the dior quake however this little piece actually fits a lot more than you would imagine so let me show you the let me just show take you through the bag a little bit or the i guess the clutch the pouch and then i'll show you guys what fits inside so as i mentioned this one i picked up from fashion file because it's actually no longer in boutiques anymore but this one was in excellent condition and it has like no wear on it not as far as i can see now you, like i said you open it the zipper is buttery soft and the inside is super clean i feel like this person never used it here's a pouch here and then there you go it's just so cute right um again here's the clasp up front it just does that zipper details again like super nice and then here's a little clasp it doesn't really say dior anywhere except for just the print itself with the oblique okay so that and that is the bag now, I had a vision for this because I purchased this because I really wanted something to attach to my Dior strap. And I felt like these just go really well together and it will be so cute. So that was why I purchased this. And I figured I could actually just put this here and there and I can show you guys in a little bit. But let's see what fits inside. Here is the current bag I'm using. You guys know this has been such a good one and I've never been happier on a purchase because it's just so functional and I just can't tell you how much I love this bag but here's a comparison between the two so you can see that obviously this one's bigger this would be the small size of this basically but I would say like most of the stuff in here is m pretty much my essentials and how I want it, how I basically determined if this bag was functional for me is to see if the stuff I have in here actually fits. So I'm going to just take everything out of here to start off with. This does fit your phone. So I have the 12 Pro Max. Here it is. And it fits right inside like that. I would need a card holder. It's great. This is my catch all. This is the one I picked up from Design by Celine. Now this one is a tight fit. So it does fit, but it's going to be pretty tall. So here's what it looks like. You guys know sunscreen's a necessity for me. My vitamins. If you guys watch my what's inside my bag videos, they're all the same items. So I'm so sorry, it's kind of boring, but scrunchy lotion i usually do carry my anna luisa pouch because i put my rings in here um, when i don't want to wear them also also carry my um six ring lv key holder for my keys but i don't have that with me right now but as you can see this is already filled to the max oops so i wouldn't be able to actually put the key holder in here anyways but let's see if this stuff fits so it actually does fit, which is still quite a lot. It does bulge a little bit, but it's not too bad. And because the material is fabric, there's a lot of flexibility with it. So I would say it still like holds a good amount. So this is a vision. I felt like this is a good way to incorporate oblique into my collection without breaking the bank. Now, like I mentioned, this is no longer, I think it was a seasonal piece is no longer at Dior stores. So if you do, if you are looking for this bag, I know that I see them often on like Fashion File and Real Real. Like Real Real is having one on sale right now for the burgundy version, but I, I only wanted blue to match my strap. I think that one actually costs less than this. Now, now, let's go through the pros and cons really fast. So the pros, is the pro first of all is the oblique. It's just so gorgeous. I love like the little details and I love how like minimal it is without being super minimal, I guess, if that makes sense. 
Um, I just think it's a great size. I just wish it was slightly bigger so I could squeeze in like the few things that I couldn't get in here, but still great. I love how there's two clasp inside and the fact that there's an inner pocket on a pouch is just everything because even on Dior book totes and other Dior bags that cost a lot more, they don't even have an inner pocket and that kind of bumps me out sometimes, but this one does. So I felt like I could put my card holder in the actual inside pocket which so it doesn't get scratched. Um, so yeah, love the bag for that reason. And also this is like I mentioned price. So price for me for this one in particular is a pro and con. It is a lot cheaper obviously because it is um, something that is not necessarily a price of a bag is considered more SLG. The negative to that is I think on Fashion File, I picked this up for the same price that it actually retailed at in the boutiques. It's just that now you can't get it. So if you do want it, you would have to get it at Fashion File. So for a pouch, this is still, I think, kind of pricey. Um, but, you know, I, I guess it just depends on how much you use it. it. I don't think it's too bad, but you aren't really saving any. You're paying retail price. Just FYI, at least this one that I picked up. Another pro is the fact that I could put my gorgeous strap on this, which makes it so good right here. So it just sits like that. Then I put it right here and voila, oh my goodness, how gorgeous, right? So this is my vision. I just made a little camera bag and Honestly, like if you buy this, if this was considered a bag at Dior, this is probably going to be like over $2,000. So the fact that I kind of just made it its own, I just feel like is so, so good. Um, yeah, I just, I have nothing to say. It's just so beautiful. Okay, let's just go into the cons really fast. Number one, I want to start off with say, Inora nailed it when she said, if only this was detachable, because like I mentioned earlier, it's a beautiful piece. I love the detail to this, but it is extremely heavy. It's like a paperweight. And when I say heavy, I'm not just saying a little. For something so small, it is a paperweight. You can hold down papers with this. So it kind of gets annoying because it weighs the bag down like this, and it is really heavy. And also it kind of shares the real estate with the clasp. So sometimes it gets stuck within each other. I just wish that you could take this off. So if you want it, you can put it on when needed, but like with the crossbody, I'll probably take it off. So that is a negative. I do wish the bag was just slightly bigger, but what, it's not It's not the pouch's fault because I purchased the pouch. <laughs> so I can't blame it, but I just wish it was a tiny bit bigger. Um, and then lastly, the pro, the con to this, and this is again, not any fault of the piece itself, but me, because I realized the thick strap with this, because it's not adjustable, sits a little too high, which I love high bags on me, but look at this. It's just a little bit too high. So it like sits like right here. I am for reference, five, 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 six. So it is a little high. It's still doable though. It almost sits like how the Fendi baguette sits, but because the baguette, the shape of it is a little different. It doesn't look as awkward, but I feel like for my height, it just looks a little awkward. So if it doesn't look good with the strap, unfortunately, I don't think I can use the bag because I purchased the pouch for the strap. Um, and I don't use this strap as much as I thought I would for my Dior saddle because I'm scared of the, the wear on it. So I only use it on occasion. So I didn't want to waste the strap because you guys know how much Dior straps are. So I wanted to, you know, kind of find other ways to utilize it without using the saddle. So I thought this would be a good way. I'm still on the fence. Honestly, love this little piece over here. I just don't know if this looks good. So you guys give me a thumbs up if you think this looks good. If not, comment below tell me to return and at least I get some money back. So, I mean, it's not the worst case scenario. I only have this for a few days, so I kind of, I've never used it. I wanted to make this video first and get your thoughts. Um, but yeah, let me know. Another reason why I'm not sure about this bag is 
I picked up something from Louis Vuitton. If you guys know, comment below what you think it is because it is the item I've been looking so, so hard for that I finally got in my possession now. So I haven't unboxed or anything because I want to do that with you guys. But yeah, so if I decide that that piece works out, this one, I don't need to. So this one would have to go back. So anyway, um, yeah, I guess that's about it. I just wanted to come on and share this little cutie because I can't decide what to do with her. But would you guys keep this? Would you guys save your money for something else? I don't know, but please let me know below. Either way, I do want to say this is a beautiful piece. If you guys are looking for something similar to this, I still think it's a really good option. I just don't need that many things right now. And the other item I picked up was something that I didn't think I was going to be able to get. So now that I have it, I feel like that one fits my lifestyle more for my everyday but let me know below what you guys get. As always, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, please give me a follow and give me a thumbs up. And like always, I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>